And new evidence that smoking is even worse for you than you thought. Good evening. I'm Shannon Wolfson. And I'm Robert Hadlock. The Centers for Disease Control says more than 43 million Americans smoke. And today, a new report came out from the nation's top doctors and medical experts. It links smoking to a growing number of diseases that ruin your quality of life and in some cases could kill you. Fifty years after then-Surgeon General Luther Perry lit into cigarette smoking as dangerous and deadly, Perry's present-day successor said too many smokers are still hooked. Today, the annual death toll from smoking is approaching 500,000 per year. Enough is enough. Also to mark the occasion in Washington, other federal health officials shared even more ominous news. Tobacco is even worse than we knew it was. That's the conclusion Acting Surgeon General Dr. Boris Lesniak draws in the latest report that now links diabetes, arthritis, tuberculosis, and even more cancers to smoking. We're adding colon, rectal, and liver cancer to the long list of cancers caused by smoking. Since the first Surgeon General's report, smoking has dropped dramatically from 42 percent to 18 percent of the country's adult population. But public health officials say it'll drop even more if cigarettes were more expensive. So we can discourage even more Americans from smoking, saving more lives and more resources. They propose nearly doubling the federal tax per pack to help reduce the number who've died prematurely from smoking, which currently stands at more than 20 million in the last 50 years. Of course, in 2005, Austin banned smoking inside of bars, restaurants, and live music venues. Many of those businesses built outdoor decks so customers who smoke would have a place to light up. But the anti-smoking group Live Tobacco Free Austin has pushed for stricter rules that would also ban smoking even on those outdoor patios and decks. 